Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Marmaluke campaign in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine, and I have just spotted Sardinia Piedmont. A beautiful colour that they get. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Might have to try a Savoy into Sardinia Piedmont at some point. I like the colour, it's nice. Makes me happy in my, in my special places. <clears throat> anyway, onwards and upwards. Increasing relations with France because they have dropped to uh, some uh, some quite low levels. We're grabbing a spider network on Kilwa. What tech are we? 15, 17, 17. I might even, at some point, build a spy network on somebody who's got really good tech. Maybe not France. Let's not piss them off. Maybe Lithuania. Actually, Ming. No, Ming's lagging a little bit. <coughs> why, did I, why, why did I even click on Mali? 18, 19, 19. It looks like Britain. Britain. Yeah. Oh no. There's two 19s there. Okay. Um. Well, when, we, when we've got a spare diplomat, we'll uh, we'll go lock on to somebody who has good tech, better good tech than we have right now, and study their technology. Hmm, lose the stability? No. <clears throat> we can lose the money. Grab the loan. I'm actually going to buy this stability overextension when this overextension is coming. Gonna buy the stability, grab the uh, the absolutism that comes with buying the stability. We'll also, at that point, hopefully be able to decrease the autonomy in a few areas. We can always already do it in a few areas right now. However, that'll just tip us over the edge. And we'll end up with rebellions everywhere. Let's not have that. We could do with another diplomat actually. I'm being uh, constricted by just having three. Trade station. Oh, the plantations. Why? Why? Is that a trade station? Oh no. No, no, we're, we're building trade stations. Not plantations. Fair enough. Fair enough. Getting our uh, manufactories in there just before uh, before the tech that requires manufactories. Manufactories tech, even. Manufactories institution. There we go. That spreads from any province that has manufacturers in it. Let's reverse course. We have a scroll bar here. And we've just swapped out a missionary dude for a level 3 half price yield inflation reduction guy. <clears throat> we've also got 20% discount on all our advisors, which is helping us. And a stability cost modifier, which is fairly nice. What have we got here? Who's going to rise up? Hobbio Separatist. I think Hobbio's around here. Hobbio. Show yourself to me. Where's Hobbio? Hmm. In Hobbio itself. Fair enough. Okay. Well, we're in the vicinity. vicinity. Um... They're only pissed off because we're converting them. Two of them in close proximity. We'll jump up to full maintenance. Get ourselves over here. We might as well sit on the provinces that have been converted. Try and lower this and rest just a little bit. Anyone else near? Anyone else close? No. Not really. And a military leader has left us. Oh, that was our uh, four fire and five maneuver. He was actually quite good for getting around the map. Hungary. <clears throat> if we act like this, we break our relations. 
with France. It's already in it. France hasn't joined. Russia's joined though. Do we throw Hungary under the bus? Your will take nine. Wow, will take nineteen. 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 We're lagging behind on seventeen. We're nowhere near eighteen. <coughs> It is Austria and Hungary. Russia is, low in a, Russia is running a little low on manpower. Hungary doesn't have that much. Lithuania, no. Austria, without being the HRE dude, is not that strong. I think we decline this, we pick up the alliance with Jean Pierre. Hmm. Kill him. Six dev, fourteen. We'll claim the fourteen dev. I mean it's it's a shame because we've been friends with Hungary for a while. However, you can have no friends in this game. Breaks the alliance, gives us a five year truce. <clears throat> then no, no, we should be the ones to uh, eat into Hungary as well. Oh well. We'll pick up Jean Pierre instead. Really? Okay. Put, let's go put these guys down. No and no, but it's for your own good. You really don't want Russians coming down this way, are you? Local defensiveness of plus 25%. I'll take that. I'll also take this alliance. Where are you, Jean Pierre? Yeah, that's a decent deterrent. Between Jean Pierre and France. A decent deterrent. I don't like I don't like Russia and Lithuania working together though. At some point they have to flip on each other. Although Lithuania would go for an alliance. <coughs> Lithuania going for an alliance. It might be worth picking that up actually. Wow, 665. It might be worth picking that up because they're a lot closer to, a little bit closer to Persia. I reckon they would join a fight. Can we fit them enough, bellies? We can. Let's revoke military access from Hungary. Let's not offer this alliance just yet. We've got claims on Kilwa. Azure and Separatists. Therapy somewhere. And Mr. Nobility Person. Can you lend me a general? You can. Just. Good. Yeah, not bad. 
similar to uh, what we had last time. By the time you you finished your fight here. Wow, that lasted ages. You get off that province. I don't think you're going to be there in time. <clears throat> no. Already started fighting down here. How about fighting without a leader? It's alright. And you get off as well. Intervening walls between great powers. No. I think we have enough people down here to deal with killer. Take 16 to our 17. We'll get them walking. And we'll use this 19 stack as well. Next rebels. Homeless separatists. Fine. You stay there. I'm not increasing autonomy anywhere because it lowers your uh, absolutism. Conversely, we're not decreasing autonomy anywhere either. <clears throat> I think we can probably safely take you. This way. Do we have anything in Europe? 2000 there. Not really. Let's bring you back from France. Let's build a spy network on Hungary. Okay. Noble rebels. Fine. We'll start your noble rebels as well. We don't need to, but. We have all our manpower. Might as well keep them sweet. <clears throat> My word, really? How many? 36. 21 versus 36. I'm not confident with that. Should we just plop out more people? Yeah, we can pull back more people. Another 10,000 in the vicinity. That oh, should be enough. There is a decent fall there. And we'll start converting some of this sheer stuff. Skill 3 National Manpower Modifier. <clears throat> so this is someone to sit in the military spot. Because from the estates, it's, it's always weirded me out this a little bit. From the estates, you can get this guy to sit in the, the top slot. I.e. the top slot being this. From the burghers. Fair enough. Makes sense. From the clergy. Again. National Rest Guy, he sits in the top slot. Missionary strength. Again, he sits in the top slot. This guy sits in the middle slot. There's no one for the bottom slot. There's no one for, for the military slot down here. Even from the nobles. So. Grabbing this guy to sit here for half price. I think you can only get them from events. So we'll do that. Put you in there. Bring our costs down. Cool. Done. Let's get you converted as well. Love course, love it. Let's get ready to uh, hit this guy on the island. Oh, okay. Well, we have to concentrate on the guy in the island. Yep, 
Ten years of separatism. Don't care. It was better than having this fort full. And then take you out as well. <clears throat> Done. We'll grab. Yep. Grab you. And I want to grab core creation cost minus twenty five percent before we take a decent chunk of land off killer. Who is this? Is this Britain? Might be. Next. Hold Mose, I think. After kill her. <coughs> After kill her, I think it's going to be Homos. Oh, this guy. Yep. It's by network. Oh, where you go? Allow everyone to get into position on kill her. Grab that stability as well. Gives us an extra little bit of absolutism. Seeing these zealots, we should have Shia zealots on here somewhere. Now that we're uh, converting Shia land. <clears throat> and we should insult someone. Ming, we'll insult you. Ah, we can't. Everyone's away. Everyone's away, busy doing things. Balls. Quarantine the province. Always quarantine the province. And pay back your land. Bring a, bring a maintenance down. Bring a maintenance down for the time being. We're not going to war just yet. It's only peasants. Do we grab mail tech? I would like to, however, that imba that unbalances. <clears throat> Parliamentarians, interesting. I've gone with Cromwell. Right, claim on Gazi, Gazi, Comchuk, whatever it is. Reverse course to get that missionary strength. That's our claim, which means we can bring you home. Use you to declare war on kill one. Now we can intervene in that war again still. Mm, no. Well, my land's getting big. investment trade efficiency plus 15 percent or lots of ducats don't need lots of ducats so we'll go for the trade efficiency plus the diplo points <clears throat> we're nearly done here we're nearly sorted extra conversion love it away you go done took you in charge you're at war with Against Portugal. Ooh, we've got Portugal down here. Okay. Declare war for that. Breaking truce. Really? 42. Two years. Fine. Who can declare war on? Somebody. No one really. Greedy tax modifier. That us or our uh, answers. 
Oh well, at least we can afford it. Let's pick up some ideas. Attrition for enemies plus one. Land attrition for us. Oh, and we grab trade efficiency as well. And we also grab provincial trade power modified plus 25%, which should have supercharged our trade income. No. Okay. Next. Away you go. That's our claim on Hungary. What do we claim? What do we want? Like a... Georgian separatists? Hmm. Right, let's go deal with them. Good. Next year province. Away you go. And we'll turn your fault on just for good measure. Also, whilst we've got some money, we will increase the level of this fault, increase the level of this fault. And increase the level of this fault as well. And we should replace. All of our marketplaces with trade depots. Hmm. I'll put you in charge just so you get that a little bit quicker. Whilst we're up here, we'll uh, we'll kick off against Gazi McCook. in the mountains but too many people for them. Wow. Let's let's not have you. No. <clears throat> no way. I mean our ruler's bad enough. But he was just crap. We'll grab this idea first before we grab stability. Declare war for that. And away we go. Do you not have troops? Must have troops somewhere. There they are. We just gotta get to you. Fair enough. Chevan. Build by now I can use one. If we can control this area. Build a fort. Well, they've already got a fort here. But reinforce this fort to level 4. <clears throat> this is level 4 in the mountains as well. This is mountains as well, I believe. Yep. Then we can control this access point from Russia. What is that truth with Hungary over? 42. It might be worthwhile dragging our troops up to Hungary. Killer can wait. We'll go snaffle some provinces off Hungary. If we can. I'm sure we I'm sure we can. 
Love conversion. Love it. Next. On you go. Bollocks. Now we're gonna have to get one of those. I mean, every time we grab. Oh, it's only gonna cost us 85 admin. Go on then. <clears throat> Every time we grab one, we grab an absolutism as well, so it's not too bad. Nope. And we'll finish this fight here. We'll we'll line up on Hungary. And that will be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about my voice, I don't know what's happened with it. I must have eaten something weird because it's stuck in my throat as well. Have a bit of a coughing fit after this. Get it dislodged. Trade efficiency, you know, Diplo rep. Diplo rep will make this happen quicker. We can afford it. So let's do afford it. Also. Yeah, in, in between the episodes, I'll spend quite a lot of our money on, uh, on grabbing the trade depots in places where they make sense. Like here. Brilliant. Nope. Side with clergy. That's one. Who's on the verge of needing more land? Nobility is. This will come down. Forty seven, forty seven, fifty six. So as long as this doesn't fire, hmm, we might have to take some land off some nobility in at least forty five, forty six, maybe. Come on, give us your stuff and things. That's another claim. History would be nice. The old capital city of Valachia. We'll claim that. Get you going again. Come on, I need to end the episode. Let's bring you back from Hungary. That will get enough for another claim before we uh, declare war. Are we nearly there yet? We are. Wow. Excellent. Collapse in on them. Wipe them out. And we'll peace out. And that will do. Okay. And we'll take all of you. Why do I need to click on the forces when I'm in this screen game? It's like sometimes you need to click on things behind and it doesn't let you. And other times you don't need to and it is stupid. Anyway, I want all you shit. All of it. Who's gonna be pissed off? Don't care, actually. Kill her. One of you aren't gonna you one of you isn't going to exist, so I'm fine with that. Send that. Fine. We'll immediately improve that fort there. Grab you as cause. Deposit you near Hungary, who has just pieced out. 
So next fight will be War against Hungary. Hungary and Naples. And he's just about to integrate Austria. What are you on? Miltech 19, we're on 17. However, I don't think you have that many troops. No, now's the time. Now is most certainly the time. We'll grab our trade ships, choke them out towards Naples, just to counter them landing any troops anywhere. We've got force limit if we need to pop out any more troops. That'll do. Happy luck, Green. As always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for War with Hungary, the old ally. If we don't eat them, someone else will. Anyway, till next time. Do take care.